A man ended a 39-day long hunger strike outside the Swiss parliament on Thursday, declaring, victory, after the MPs agreed to be briefed by scientists on the latest climate change research. Here's a summary of the article. Geneva. A man ended a 39-day long hunger strike outside the Swiss parliament on Thursday, declaring, victory, after the MPs agreed to be briefed by scientists on the latest climate change research. Guillermo Fernandez, who says he has lost 20 kilos since launching his hunger strike on November 1 to push for Swiss MPs to take climate change seriously, ended his fast by gingerly eating a banana outside the parliament building. His announcement came after the president of the lower house of parliament Irene Kalin, of the Green Party, announced that scientists had been invited to brief MPs on May 2, 2022 about the latest research from the Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change. When he launched his hunger strike 39 days ago, Fernandez declared that he was terrified for his three children's future after seeing the IPCC's bombshell, Code Red, report last August warning the Earth is on a pathway towards catastrophic warming. Last month, Fernandez declared on Twitter that he was on hunger strike for my children's climate. I ardently desire to live, but I am willing to die if it can protect them. Some parliamentarians interviewed by the Tribune de Genève Daily voiced unease on Thursday at his methods, and insisted they were already well informed about the climate crisis. Here, we are debating the climate challenges, but the democratic process takes time. It is not as easy as flipping a switch said Pierre-André Page of the populist right-wing Swiss People's Party, Switzerland's largest party. This post received a score of 13,000, with an up-vote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. May 2, 2022. Plenty of time for that to get pushed back or rescheduled or completely taken off the agenda. Not very usual in Switzerland, TBH. I felt like a hero after a seven-day water fast. 39? That's suicidal. The human body can run for quite a while without food, so long as you have water and proper nutritional supplements. Still, 39 days is a pretty long time. I did a fast for a week once, water plus tea only plus supplements. By the end of it my jaw was sore from not being used and mentally it was bizarre. My brain was begging for a hamburger. The longest fast is more than a year. Considering he supplemented, does this mean your body can literally just live off of the energy from burned fat, with adequate vitamin, nutrient supplements and hydration, until it runs out? Kinda yeah, our biology allows us to enter a state of ketogenesis which allows us to run our brain and everything else exclusively off our fat reserves. Added bonus as our fat cells also store excess proteins and spare nutrients so as they lose fat they also lose protein that is necessary for maintenance and repairing. Downside is that ketogenesis is much slower so if you run low on energy expect to wait an hour or two to recover. This sort of system is really excellent for a species that can hunt an animal so long that it will simply die of exhaustion. What a fucking champion. Guillermo Fernandez. Who writes these garbage titles? Tears of joy, a man. Why not just use his name and maybe say Guillermo Fernandez what Ho identifies as a man or something? Well I don't know who Guillermo Fernandez is. I think that's the rule right? Use a name for famous people. Why is this even a situation someone needs to go on a hunger strike for? Because most politicians don't give a shit about climate change due to the bribes, blackmail or threats they get from the fossil fuel industry. Most politicians don't give a shit about individuals either. Only one individual usually. That isn't true. They usually care about their buddies as well. But you? No, they don't care about you. Oh, of course. Touché. So funny that it had to go this far. 39 days because you don't want to hear about the data. It's not like he insisted that they even agree to accept his point of view. Just be briefed on the data. People can be so stubborn. Meanwhile, here in the US, people have literally set themselves on fire about it and 99% of us don't even remember that shit happening. Whoa, Link. David Buckle, 2018. Hey, good for him. I'm a be honest. Whenever I hear stuff like this, I just think, okay, how much of this is actually thanks to that guy? And how much of it would have happened anyway? 
I don't know if things are different in Switzerland but here in the UK, I'm fairly sure our politicians would step on the dead bodies of all their constituents on their way into the House of Commons. From a metaphorical standpoint, they already do. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.